We're going to start to crank the heat up this weekend, though, so really about the only big change weather-wise in your forecast. I, I wish we had some rain on the way, but we don't. It's just going to be the uh, eventual return back to, well, some summer-like heat here. Our Lexington Financial Center live camera is clear, as is the max track. And up north, as we've been talking about, it's all about that ridge of high pressure that's been slowly rolling down from Lake Superior across the Yoop, the upper peninsula of Michigan. Now it's over Ohio and heading towards PA and West Virginia later on today. So that high will for, you know, keep firm control in our forecast here, but as the wind shifts, we will start to see that change towards warmer, eventually hotter weather. The future track is trying to bring a couple of showers in Saturday morning. I don't think that amounts to much. But each passing day, this little bit of a 30 day rainfall surplus that we build up, especially across southeastern counties, continues to get chipped away because, well, this no rain on the way until at the earliest, probably early next week, as far as a decent chance to at least get something going. And on top of that, we've got heat building and then heat holding. We'll get into the low to mid 90s and then just kind of park it there much of next week. So uh, temperatures chilly this morning. 48 in Mount Sterling. So the second morning in a row, we've had a widespread 40s uh, out there, mid 40s in Danville, Richmond, Monticello, upper 40s. The Mesonet's got a number of sites in the 40s as well. This is a very key number, the dew point temperature when you're in the 40s. That is very dry air. And you can see the overall impact of all that dry air that has uh, scoured out the humidity and pushed it down toward the Gulf Coast. With a south to southwesterly wind, we'll eventually start to see that moisture running up the Mississippi River Valley. But at least through the early part of the weekend, we're going to hold it out to the west. And then I think by early next week, we'll start to see the humidity climb to go along with the heat. So the below normal temperatures that we've been experiencing this early taste of September of fall, uh, well, that's going to go away. And you can see the heat building in originating out west as this upper high, this heat dome expands out from Texas and some of the you know, above normal warmth makes its way east. So the end of, uh, of uh, this month, end of August, heading into early September, it's going to be running above normal, and then we may run near normal uh, to get September started. And could have a nice Labor Day on the way. I'll have to wait and see how that pans out. 80 out in Shelbyville today, the same in Paris, Carlisle, Mount Olivet, way up in Robertson County, Richmond down in Madison County. Uh, our eastern counties, a lot of upper 70s showing up from Flemingsburg down through Frenchburg. And then down into the mountains, it's about the same. Highs around 80 degrees, 78 in Hindman, 81 in Hyden, right at 80 in Hazard. And the lakes region could be a great day to hit the lake. These days are drawing shorter as well as we get closer to the end of summer. 80 in Jamestown today and 81 in Monticello as you get down around Lake Cumberland. There's your eight day forecast and there are those 90s that I'm talking about. It's, it's going to be an extended run, a little you know, heat wave there. A uh, number of days that we've got highs above our normal, which is 86 and falling this time of the year. So low to even mid 90s starting this weekend, carrying through it looks like much of next week.